Hey guys, John here. Today's pigments patch is called Organ of Light. Now, it's not my largest organ, but you know, it does get the job done. So, here we go. Okay, I think you get the idea. So let's go to the effects side. Let's turn all of this off here. Our synth side, turn the utility off, the engine number two harmonic off, and let's take a look at engine number one analog. So just this engine with no effect sounds like this. So we got kind of the characteristics of an organ going. It sounds a little cheesy for this first engine just by itself. But it's a starting point, right? So the course tuning is going to be unchanged here. Unison, we have two voices, detune 1.5% and stereo at 100%. So we're going to be using three oscillators, one, two, and three. The first one is going to be a downward saw. Now you might look at this and say this doesn't look like a downward saw. And that's because we're frequency modulating it by this third oscillator over here. So this knob here is going to be at 0.011%. And we're also unchecking this one down here because by default, both of these are on and it would look like this, but we don't want this second oscillator frequency modulated so we got to turn this one off so this gives it a little bit of different sound to it, a little different timbre to it so without it it would sound something like this then with subtle difference but it makes a big difference in the long run so oscillator number two is going to be one octave up going to be a triangle wave and out zero db same as the first one Third oscillator is also triangle wave, but we didn't change any of the course tuning here. And uh, this one, as you can see, the volume is down. This one, we don't hear it, but we are using this for frequency modulation for this first oscillator over here. So we are, in fact, using it. And then this one is getting sent to filter number one, which is this Jupiter 8. Now, let's go to engine number two and take a look at this one over here. So the whole purpose of this engine here is just to get a sine wave with a few extra sine waves to make that type of organ sound, right? So if we hit a note here, we have our fundamental, then we have one, two, three, and four. So we have four partials or four harmonics in this case that are kind of contributing to that sound here. And that's over here on this partials here. You can see 4.19, so there may be something 0.19 somewhere that this value re reflects, but there's really gonna be one, two, three, four that we can actually see on this graph here. So that's pretty much the whole point to this one right over here. And this frequency modulation should be at one. So now both of these engines together is going to sound something like this. Okay, moving on from there, this is kind of where it really starts to take shape here because we go into our utility engine and we see a couple of different things. So this first noise one here, take a listen to this by itself. Now it's really low in volume, but it's almost this clicking sound every time we hit a note here. And the reason for that is because we hit, we selected wood here, which is in the transient selected here on wood. And this is getting sent to filter number two because we don't want to take any of the top end out. We want to keep that because it's going to be important. Now this volume is getting triggered by this envelope number two at 0.47 modulation amount. And if we take a look at number two, it's going to be attack one millisecond, decay 500 milliseconds, sustain zero, release 100 milliseconds, attack curve zero, decay curve negative two, re-triggered by our poly keyboard because we want this to happen every time we hit a note. And the reason of that is because we turn these different engines on and it almost sounds like that clicking sound when we hit a key, it makes it a little bit, little bit more realistic. <laughs> And then if we slide notes like this. So if we took this off. Not really as convincing as if it were on. So 
So little, little, little tiny things really make a patch shine. And then we got to have a little bit of analog noise in here to kind of bring it all together. Also getting sent to filter number two. So that's what you're hearing there. Now, if that's a little bit too much for you, this third macro over here will control the overall volume. So if you want more, you can always turn it to the right. If you want less, turn it to the left. So at this point, we pretty much have the organ type of sound. Now we need a little bit of low end, which is this oscillator here. Now, generally, I always send these out for as a direct out, but in this case, this is going to be FXB, and we'll look at over, look at that in just a moment here. This is down one octave, and it's just a sine wave. So keep in mind, this first engine is filter number one, the second engine is filter number one, and then the utility engine, these, this clicking noise and the analog noise are going to be filter number two, which is this guy over here. But also keep in mind, the way we have our filters routed is that the first filter's output will then get processed by the second filter and then it goes to the effects. So for this one, it's just going to be a Jupiter 8. There's not necessarily going to be macros for the filters in this patch here. So this is a healthy amount here at 3.5K, about 3,540 to be exact. No resonance for this one, but we're going to be using a good amount of keyboard tracking at 0.656. And that's because the higher up on the notes we go, we kind of want that filter to open up just a little bit. And then this output gets sent to the matrix 12, which we're kind of just cutting off a little bit for a high pass 12. The cutoff's gonna be 56.4 Hertz and also no uh, resonance here. And then we're gonna have a little bit of keyboard tracking at 0.436. Now a lot of fun happens in the effects section over here. So let's turn this on over here, turn off B and let's take a look at A. So the first thing that we're going to do with this is we're gonna hit it with an EQ, right? So let's take a listen to the sound. So it's a little bit muddy. Then we turn on this EQ. We're kind of taking out that mud here, which is going to be at about 214 hertz, and we're taking out a good amount at negative 8.87. And then over here, we're taking out a little bit of that bright irritatingness, and that's going to be about 2.6K, and we're taking about 2.58 dB. And then this one over here is going to be interesting because this is about 7K, and we're kind of just boosting those like clicky sounds of the notes that we're talking about and also the analog noise. So yeah, so that one's gonna be about 7K and we're giving it a healthy amount of 5.32 dB. Next up, we have a delay here. Now this is going to be one over four. Now this one here is going to be one over four, the fine zero, feedback 0.352, stereo spread 0.040. High pass is going to be 20 and the low pass is going to be 20K because I didn't want to cut out the delays for the high end stuff because I like those clicky sounds for the keys and also the analog noise. So this dry wet is going to be at zero but modulated by 0 0.20 or 20%. Next up it hits a chorus Juno 6 on the mode 2 preset. We all know how that one ends. Next up, we have FXB. Let's turn this one on here. Now this is where the fun stuff happens. So we have the stereo pan. So this is kind of the simulation of the organ rotors kind of moving, right? So let's take a listen to that. So now this is basically panning this sound back and forth through our speakers. And the cool part for this one is it's going to be tempo synced at one over two for now. So with ever, whatever song you're using, this, mo this motion back and forth is gonna be in sync with your song. 
So mono bass is going to be selected, the cutoff 120 hertz, natural, and the invert is going to be off. So we have rate and amount. And now both of these will be modulated through the macros. So as you see over here, these first two, because they're kind of the most important sounds or the most, most important macro of this sound. So we have the stereo speed, so how fast this is moving. And as we increase this, take a listen. So I think you get the idea, especially if you're in headphones, it's very apparent how fast that's going to be moving. And like I said, all of these values all through this whole macro will be in sync with your song, which is really cool. Next up, we have the stereo depth. So this is going to say like how far left and right are we going to move this rotor here? And you can always see this cone here is kind of a good representation of that. So I did leave quite a healthy amount all the way at the top, although it's kind of exaggerated, which I didn't go all the way here. There's still a tiny little sliver that you can go, but anywhere past that is gonna be kind of just breaking the illusion a little bit. So maybe something around here-ish or so might sound the, be the best, I would say, in my opinion. Next up, we have the Shimmer Reverb, which is going to sound like this. So add a little bit of beauty to it, right? The pitch shift is going to be one octave or 12 semitones up. Feedback 0.256, size 50%, modulation 0 0.840, high pass 200 hertz, low pass 7K, ducking 0.128, and stereo width 0 0.750. The dry wet's going to be at zero for the manual knob, but it's going to be modulated by 0.14 or 14% according to this fourth macro. And last but not least, we hit it with one final reverb to reverberate the Shimmer Reverb. So good. So this pre-delay is going to be 20 milliseconds, size 1, DK, 0.231, stereo width 0.5, high pass 200, low pass 5,007 hertz, and the damping is going to be 0 0.600. The dry wet is going to be zero manually, but it's going to be modulated at 0.41 or 41%, which is significantly more than this first one here. And the convenient part of having this on a macro is if you don't like the effects or you want to use something different or even if you just want to dial them down, this whole knob controls all of that for you. So there we have no effects and we can put it maybe halfway here for 50% strength of all the effects. And there you have it. That's pretty much how this whole patch works. If you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Just click it and download it and install it and play some Organ of Light. Play something nice. There you go. Hopefully uh, you learned something from the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.